we may have an illegal substance and that's what this lab is going to determine. We're going to determine whether the vinegar is our illegal substance or if it's legal. And the way that we can do that is because we're going to be doing what's called a neutralization reaction. And we have vinegar, which of course is an acid. We're going to be adding to that sodium hydroxide, which is a base. We're also going to be having the p-stain, or the phenothaline. And if you remember from lecture, phenothaline gets activated at about a pH of 8, which is very, very close to a pH of 7, being close to, to neutral. So by knowing the amount of base that we add to the acid to make it neutral, to neutralize it, we could then calculate the concentration of the acid over there. We will know the quantity of the base that we are adding because we have a volume of 25 milliliters and we have a mass of 0.3 grams. And if you remember, concentration is an amount, or it's a weight or a mass, divided by the volume of the solution. So we can calculate what the concentration of my base is, and when it becomes neutral, we can then determine the concentration, the original concentration of the acid is. We'll discuss that also in the um, discussion portion of this lab. So the first one to start off with, I'm going to put the um, test tubes here. I have three test tubes, and I'm going to put 15 drops of acid. So acid is indicated by the A here, and I'm going to put 15 drops of that. And to that, I'm going to be adding one drop of my pea stain. So let me go ahead and add these drops of vinegar. Okay, there's 15 there. Okay, if I messed up one or two, um, it's okay because we're going to get a nice average after all this. Okay, so now they all have 15 drops of acid or my vinegar. I'm going to add just one drop of the pea stain and watch what happens. Oop. Absolutely nothing, except getting my hand wet. Now, the reason why nothing is happening is because I'm dropping the pea stain into an acid. And if you remember, the pea stain really only becomes active when it hits about a pH of 8. So nothing actually should be happening when I add that. So I'm just going to mix that in there. I'm going to mix that in there. I'm going to mix this in there. So now I am in the acid range. Okay, I'm on the left-hand side of the periodic table over here. Okay, I want to get it to be neutral. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding a base from over here. The amount that this shifts over to become neutral is the amount that it's being shifted over from the base to make it neutral. So the concentration of base to make this neutral can be calculated, and therefore we can calculate the concentration of the acid. Again, we'll go over that in the discussion. So I've already prepared this for us, and this is exactly 25 milliliters of distilled water, and it also has been added to that 0.43 grams of the sodium hydroxide, which is a base. Now what I need to do is I need to count. We're going to count how many drops. I know how many drops I added of acid, and I added 15 drops of acid. I'm going to count how many drops of base it's going to take to change the color. So I'm going to add and count one by one. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Notice how the base is being absorbed by the acid. Thirteen, fourteen, 
15, still being absorbed, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, ah, 32, and 32. So it took 32 drops. So I'm going to write that down so I don't forget. 32 drops to make that happen. We're going to do the same thing for this one now. I'm going to probably go ahead and count to 20 because I know it could probably absorb at least that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty. Okay, we're at twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-one. 33, 34, 35. So that one took 35 drops. That's why we're doing this more than once. We have 32, 35 for the second trial. So here's the third trial. I'm gonna see if what happens here. Ten. Twenty. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Thirty-one. That one took thirty-one. So thirty-two, thirty-five, and thirty-one. We have all the information necessary now to do our calculate calculations for this neutralization reaction and that's going to be the next part of the video.